and we're back to a learning escape and this time I'm going to explain the different snapping functions. So right now the snapping is in my top menu, go to view, white, it's on the right side, go to custom and it's on the top again. So this is where we start. On the top left we've got the general snapping, you can enable or disable it with a left click. The next function, it affects the bounding boxes. You can't see the difference for the rectangle as the bounding box is the same size as the shape, but for the polygon you can see it. Bounding box is this dash line. And if we activate this snapping to the corners of the bounding box, we can use for example this black element and snap it to the corner. If it's turned off, it doesn't snap. So this first, let's say group, it affects the bounding box. The second is for paths, handles. By default, you've got it set to snapping to the right angle corners right here. You can also snap it to paths. If we don't have it, nothing happens. Let us activate it. And now you can see that the corner snaps to the path. Next one is for path intersections. And we also have one for ellipses. Right now it doesn't snap, but if we activate it, it snaps to the vertical and horizontal anchor points or nodes. The last function is for midpoints of line segments. The next group is for centers, for example the center of an object. Let us activate it and it snaps to the center of the polygon with the corner of the rectangle. We also have a snapping function for rotation center right here. There's a plus sign when you double click on an element, you can see it on the ellipse way better. So it's this white plus. Let us activate it. It can snap. Let us activate the center position as well. And you can see that now this rotation center snaps to the center of the element. We also have a snapping for the border page. Let me create that. And I'll activate it. Once again, it snaps. The last two functions are for grids and guides. Let me get rid of this page first. And now we'll look at the guides. Let me drag them down from the rulers. If you don't see a rulers, press Ctrl R. It's activated and it snaps. Let me deactivate it. And there you go. Let me render some grids. Simple rectangular grid here. And again, it snaps, and if we turn it off, there is no snapping. And these are the general snapping functions in Inkscape Explained. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.